The M679CS's workbench extends by 13 centimeters on the front standard and another 13 on the rear. There's a buffer of about five in between for full extension of around 300 millimeters, making it an excellent macro camera. But by changing the bags, you can actually use extremely wide angle lenses down to around 23 millimeters. There's no camera on the market that can do all of this on a single optical bench. The workbench tilts by 45 degrees in either direction. It is locked and unlocked via this lever. The M679CS's rotary secondary focus scale is accurate down to about 1 in 1 20th of a millimeter, making it extremely useful for high-end macro. This focus scale loses accuracy when the optical bench is quickly ratcheted in or out, but remains stable and reliable otherwise. Pull the cleat to release the lens and snap it back in place. Easy, peasy, beautiful. This is how you lock, unlock and adjust each independent tilt on the front and the rear standard. And this is how you make a rainbow out of your camera. Why don't we add some swing to that rainbow?
Shift is applied to both standards using the same geared mechanism. It's accurate, but not quick. The rear standard is a little bit more difficult to use, primarily because if you use a rapid universal quick change slider as I do, it gets in the way. A flex shaft will keep you from bumping the universal slider. Don't ask me why I prefer to use a universal rapid slider upside down, but I do. Note also that it has three panorama positions. And this is how you attach a digital back to the slider put in the correct position. In order to focus, you'll have to slide the digital back out of the way and get the ground glass right over your subject. The subject today is a Copal press shutter, the sort that I use in conjunction with an electronic roll eye shutter behind all of my lenses. You won't get far without some sort of loop. I use a six times a spherical Schneider loop. Here's the optical bench slovenly marked up and ready for macro stacking. And now let's bring the loop into action to ensure that we have the object in focus from front to back. And here is how you close and open a Copal press shutter. Attached to it, I have a 150mm f5.6 enlarging Nikkor, which is amazing to one-to-one -to -one macro photography, but not so great beyond that. Because this lens maximum aperture is only 5.6, the ground glass can be pretty dark. So if you don't have a good modeling light on your lights, you're going to have a hard time focusing. One reason I really like this lens is that its many aperture blades soften out-of-focus highlights for single shot and shallow or sometimes deep focus images. <laughs> 